So hello everyone, welcome back. So today we have our very own um, Masato Miramisuji, and well, uh, we we know him. He doesn't need introduction in this audience, but just for the record, let me just say a little bit of his biography. So he got his PhD in the Osaka University in Japan, then did a postdoc at Sokan University in Seoul, and also the Yukawa Institute for Theoretical Physics in Kyoto, and came to Centra in 2013. So. Uh, Without further ado, Masato, the stage is all yours. Okay, yeah. So uh, thank you for uh, providing the opportunity to give us this here. So today I'm going to talk about the general relativity solution in mineral theory by, by that. This talk is based on my long term collaboration with uh, two people, mainly working at Kyoto in Japan. Then our talk is based on our paper, how is the PRB? So, just as a brief introduction, well, the Einstein's general relativity describes the theory of a uh, massless gravity. The possibility that gravity may have a finite non zero mass has been discussed for a long time. At a level of uh, adoration about the uh, trapped inequality space time, only the fields part, which is given by following what we call the contraction of uh, H meaning, where we are H meaning, you know, adoration about the uh, trap space time, contains a uh, totally high uh, degree of freedom without any, without any cost. Within this uh, five degree freedom, there's a one scalar mode and two vector modes. And uh, also to tensorial. So when we consider some other question, when the fixing equal to minus one, then uh, so higher derivative term in scalar sector definitely does, does not cancel out after uh, partial integration. Then uh, so those two appear. But if we consider only this particular combination, then a uh, high, higher derivative term uh, cancel out. Then we don't have any. Uh, Having this uh, physical theory, then people try to extend this theory to nonlinear. But uh, all the nice uh, nice no, uh, nonlinear extension of uh, this power theory actually uh, be introduced uh, also, which is currently known as the ball where level for in short the in short digit. Uh, the reason that uh, so even we can avoid the goals at the uh, quadratical. So if we consider cubic order to a higher term of each medium, then from those uh, higher term, then both goes uh, at the appear. Then basically after several decades, there are the other story or so DLG uh DL uh DLG possibly formulate the nonlinear massive gravity without any uh uh ball where data by considering particular type of Product of a physical matrix, our physical matrix. Much. And, and Rosen had a, a, a big gravity theory. Same Rosen, you know that. Rosen of Einstein Rosen had uh -huh. was the first to to to, to propose a, a big gravity theory in the uh -huh. 19, 1970s or 60s. Mm -hmm. So maybe there is a relation. Maybe grandson, granddaughter. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. So I also don't. <laughs> I'm also not not sure. So. Oh yeah, yeah, the upper line. So yeah, so yeah, 
in utility, you have uh, two asset uh, units sum. So one is uh, asset <laughs> unit sum for the metric GB unit. Where this metric GB unit describes the uh, plane scape in our world, where this uh, GB unit describes the metrics uh, tensor in a general world. Then the uh, second term is in the uh, sorry, third term, second one describes the uh, interaction between uh, these two uh, methods. But then to avoid the uh, appearance of visible, basically, so uh, the LVT partly consider the following functional type of contraction over G menu and uh, the judgment. Then we call this uh, like hopefully metric tensor. Then uh, more precisely, so K menu given by square uh, root then if you consider uh, the particular wave contraction over k mu and also the higher order power k mu so k is having considered the same uh, we need to have uh, at least five uh, independent kind of con uh, contrast including this uh, the identity but then if I consider such a underestimated uh, contraction then for such a uh, particular choice then the force can be of avoid. And if there's no second identity star, then it is more than the uh, original uh, DLDT series. Here, the M denotes the uh, drag on mass parameter, and then C notes to C4 as a uh, dimension function function, we can choose basically uh, three. And then if one performs the Hamidoyan analysis, then the theory contains totally two plus five degrees of window. So two corresponding masses scale, while five corresponding masses scale. So what we observe basically some kind of uh, remix of scale of uh, masses and uh, mass. And uh, but uh, so among these uh, five masses in the although we have already given the the uh, four way data, but still some extra scale or extra vector modes. So like in the conventional structure the theory or vector modes theory. We need to suppress these uh, extra scalar or vector modes, at least in the solar system scale or binary function uh, system, or, or in uh, any region where they are being uh, tested. Well, the question does it reduce to the first power in the theory of the field unit? Does it reduce to the first power in the theory of the field unit? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. It is a kind of, yeah. Only uh, extensions, yeah. So, I, know, I know it's uh, non linear theory. Yeah. So, if we just uh, expand our, yeah, because yeah. it's backward, then it's over. Okay. Yeah. Also, if we count, if we count this, uh, second, uh, this uh, 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 Einstein period. Now, so briefly, let me, uh, let me ask the cosmology to see how to make this. For simplicity, now we consider. Just to copy it, which I have in the monumental robust of the space time, in the two scale function, and then we also define the ratio to the scale factor by five, and we also define the double expansion rate in G sector and in general. Uh, now we are going to impose the energy conservation law for in each sector. But in there, since uh, two sectors still have uh, gravitation, uh, for any choice, any for geotechnic choice of C1, for example, then we cannot have uh, this. But uh, if we put uh, the equal the following Python, so this will be equal to zero, or if the information was zero, then we can import the conservation of energy in each sector. Then, if we do this uh, first one, then by the just given the constant, and this constant large C not satisfy this one. Well, second branch is called the normal, where by given by the ratio of the two uh hundred pounds. Then for example, if we consider the first branch, then the was six after this branch. Then what we get is essentially uh GL freedom and free. With uh, following the effective post contact constant. But the uh, value of the effective uh, post contact constant is uh, given by the gravitational mass. I think the name self accelerated coming from uh, the 
up the figure is the uh, acceleration of, of our universe is that a uh, most possible most possible but uh, that is driven by the mass star. Then the other branch is so called the normal gas. Then in the normal, normal gas, we, what we get is more even more um, non standard components. So what is uh, the equation is really given by uh, they are like three normal equations, but coupled with the uh, effective star variance. But since our tie is now dependent on power, so there's some uh, extra dependence in the hard power. Therefore, the answer equation can uh, modify so uh, conventional one. Then anyway, we have in the background technology, in self acceleration and normal bands. Then now we are going to invest, uh, investigate the perturbation on top of those bar backgrounds. But then uh, if you consider the perturbation in the scale factor, typically it suffer either three instability both, especially the normal band is known to suffer gradient. And the uh, self acceleration is suffer on top of the strong capital. Then the uh, perturbation theory breaks down to this way. Uh, the part of the theory comes to uh, this way, uh, pre pre the the Then, uh, so people then, of course, try to solve uh, the problem. But uh, our solution basically is to construct new type of virality. Uh, so, only, it only contains two plus two sensorial behavior. In other words, we want to construct by gravity without any scale on or data sum. This is a basically motivation that to construct the power theory. So then we are going to briefly explain how to construct the uh the Miheyman theory by gravity, or in short the MDB theories. Now we start from an uh, alien type decomposition over two minutes. Then gamma is a phi j zero special method. Now we are going to construct the Brayton mass term or interaction term in terms of uh, this three dimensional space, plus the three dimensional uh, metric, special metric, instead of the uh, original four dimensional metric, like in the Hassan. Here, we consider two types of construction, uh, KID and K tilde ID. And note that K tilde ID is uh, the inverse of the then we are going to yeah, introduce similar the uh the uh correlation k and also higher power k and k. Then the uh, k k Hamilton third then uh then we have to use the up to uh the cubic order. Then there's also the uh, k so normal k and k. So yeah, just uh so just uh, the the ingredient to construct cell. Now we start from a pretty fast. So that has a study. So we just like in the previous pattern, if we consider just two copies of anti even term, then uh, this is uh, uh, the um, mass term or interaction term. But uh, in both of uh, yeah, as I said, in this group case, so H no and H no tilde not constructed without K or K tilde, but uh, K and K tilde. They are given by contrasting the three dimensional uh, metric instead of the four dimensional metric. Therefore, in this theory, basically, the four dimensional Lorentz symmetry is four. But uh, otherwise, we can also uh, reduce the number of the degrees of freedom. Then, we also introduce the uh, conjugate momentum to the uh, three dimensional spatial metric, uh, so pi ID and pi pi ID. Then, uh, so, then by using the Williams transformation, we can obtain the Hamiltonian of a uh, recover. So, Hamiltonian, uh, so that, that's uh, like a two copies of this. Yeah. Hamiltonian is given by uh, the Hamiltonian constraint and the uh, momentum constraint. But, uh, these are, so, the uh, last, uh, last function appear here as a Lagrange mass prior. Initially, it modified the Hamiltonian by this time. But since there's no uh, simple dependence in this uh, interaction, so the momentum constraint are the same as the GR. But if we compute the quantum graphic between uh, so, uh, 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 among the two of them, then uh, basically some of them actually uh, does not vanish because of uh, uh, the 
uh, mass star. Then we compute the bottom value among all these eight components. Then we can show that four of them still remain the first one. While the, the other four now downgraded the second one. As you know, this first class content uh, basically uh, reduces two phase space dimension, but the second class reduces only one uh, phase space dimension. So basically, uh, this means that the focus value in the first class you get a more degree of freedom. Therefore, to get the same number of degree of freedom as just two popular freedom, we need that, uh, some new uh, content. Now, some uh, prior error, then this result of the finally formulated the Two uh, Hamiltonian of uh, from Hamiltonian of uh, MPD theorem. Two Hamiltonian given by the Hamiltonian of uh, the Lipasa house, which is given by Hamiltonian and momentum. Okay. Then we are going to add in total five Hamiltonian functions. And then we start from C no C no tilde and CI and CI tilde are all are basically the function of the spatial matrix and the concave momentum. Then, so then lambda, lambda i, and c, uh, lambda tilde, uh, okay, so, so, uh, this is one. Then, uh, the, all these are uh, the Lagrange mass prior for the uh, Archer. But since there's no uh, last and um, simple dependent in this, uh, on, in this new constraint, therefore, the uh, last and simple still play the role of the Lagrange mass prior. So, then, Hamiltonian momentum constraint are the same. Now we have totally 13 components, uh, 8 plus 5 components. Then we are again compute the uh, Poisson bracket. Then we find that uh, only this particular combination of the momentum constraint are first class, while all the other components become uh, second class. And then if we count number of the phase space dimension, then uh, we have a totally 8 dimension phase space. Then we we have a two plus two degree freedom. Now we get a desired number of the desired number of the, of the degree of freedom. And if I want, now we can go back from a Hamiltonian tip that we see now Lagrangian of Lagrangian of MBD is given by because of a starting point. Also, the, the spot which contains the dependence of a small uh, number, which are the also, uh, there are also conditions of uh, mass. Uh, then, basically, now we are going to work on the in plus in the gate back theory. But as I mentioned, then, for example, in this, uh, in this term, there's uh, a dependent three dimensional matrix. Also, this is a three dimensional construction. So, therefore, the uh, flow asymmetry is already low. So, in this theory, basically, there's still the position preserving the legal other such kind of transformation. Now, again, so let us apply uh, this theory to the cosmology. Again, uh, so we consider uh, at the simplest application, we consider two copies for the freedom and universe. Then, with uh, two step factors, A and A. Although, in, in the case of our theory, we need to consider the times of the uh, Lagrange mass prior. But uh, to be compatible with symmetry of a cosmology, then basically uh, we assume lambda to be uh, just a function of time. But uh, since lambda bar always appears with a special lambda special cluster, so in, in the homogeneous and isotopic background, basically there is no contribution from so we, we can say uh, there. Also, uh, so in order for, to be compatible with the isotropy of space, we also say uh, lambda i. But then, first, we uh, so vary the full uh, energy action with respect to this small lambda. Then again, we get this kind of uh, transient condition. Then, back in the previous assembly, okay, we get the phase after the uh, which correspond to this condition for the and uh, no matter that, uh, which correspond to uh, the case that uh, uh, this is the that uh, given by uh, the formation of a uh, barrier. So yeah, here, so here, both of them. Actually, your condition for the same after reverse is the same as the previous person. Okay? 
then what we get exactly the identical freedom equation with an effective photon function. Also, we get a lambda, from lambda to zero as a solution for the, as a solution. What is capital M? Is it cosmological constant? Capital lambda is an effective photon constant. Cosmological constant? Photon constant, but uh, it's not, it, this photon constant is not present in the action. But, uh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Can uh, write the yeah, other equation. Two, you have two accelerations, two cosmological constants. Yeah, in this case, yeah, both frame and this is what we yeah, accelerate. Both accelerate. So this, this lambda here accelerate uh, G matrix. And the, uh, this lambda here yeah, accelerate our new part. This lambda accelerate the other. Uh, the other. Also, if we consider a normal one, then we can solve every problem in terms of. Lambda. Then we get this one. Now again, if we import the energy photon, then uh, we get actually the same one. So if we import the energy photon and conservation sector, then also we get lambda smooth lambda goes there as a solution. Then the remaining uh, equation equation, modified equation equation, also remain the same as previous part of the equation. In such a way, from uh, uh, same accelerating and the normal one, we get uh, the same cosmology as in the previous half of it. But of course, the advantage is that we don't have any. Now, we have already removed the extra scalar mode, vector mode, then there's uh, no intermediate associated with the scalar mode. And uh, there's only the tensorial part. But the tensorial perturbation has uh, any uh, goals or value uh, in, in instability problems. Okay. Yeah. If you want to talk at uh, normal rank and talk price interest for the normal rank, how would you go about doing it? You have actually two scale factors to call and only one uh, differential equation. Oh, yeah, uh, there's also two matter sector. Uh, if there's a matter sector, the G sector also the other matter sector, the entire sector, there are two kinds of scale factors. Yeah, basically, yeah, the other one, so we can, uh, so put. We can assume low G. Just, just you know, first we put up put the here any kind of matter yeah, we want in the G sector. But then low F basically, uh, basically the last uh, yeah, uh, introduced just to give uh, yeah, bon, bon, bon so, so you're saying that you said it has its own equation. Yeah, yes. And this is what it has with this way. Yeah, but then isn't it over determined? I, I think it's not uh, yeah, over. Because we, we can, yeah, just introduce low F to be compatible with that. We can, we can see some freedom among matter, the low F, in other systems. Of course, of course there's no, no matter last, last time, but it shows the other system. Okay, so then having the, uh, the application technology, now we are going to uh, so discuss. Uh, so, uh, application of this theory to the uh, graph of physics, theory of physics, graph and collapse, and also graph of vibration, mm -hmm. as long as time is uh, allowed. And then, so first we are going to consider how to realize the Shibachu Logita solution as a vacuum solution of this theory. Then we start from a most general uh, so measuring of a static and the three Then also the the total is the uh, 3D component and the R component and the uh, angular component, also the uh, Larian uh, simple vector. And uh, then we are saying the similar metric for uh, the other vector. Then she knows it's something like a uh, uh, proportion question. Then, of course, if we consider the Shibashi logic space, then there are several components. Most way no one is the same the Shibashi form. Which are uh, in which metric is uh, diagonal, but instead the uh, uh, metric become singular at the position of a cost of horizon or a graph of horizon. And the other uh, way of calling it, especially graph of horizon, or a uh, data name, which is sort of fine there in the Where, so the, uh, as its name, some the special sec uh, section of this metric is that one. So, to see, the image matrix is but instead the simple vector become more volume. 
Now we are going to this way. We are going to the gamma, the value of gamma g, gamma a, by solving, by substituting gamma into the, our, our equation. Of course, in case of GR, we can, for example, move from super shift component to special class component or to, uh, or to yeah, any other component by the changing the time point. But as I mentioned, in this theory, there's only the collision preserving uh, DPO, DPO more positive invariant. Actually, the solution uh, is the existing solution also depends on the choice of point. So we are going to choose this spatially uh, but component because uh, this matrix is uh, regular on the horizon. So it can cover some uh, in some portion of the interior of the horizon. Then uh, as under for the Lagrange multiplier, we assume that theta and its phi component of the vector Lagrange multiplier to be there, to be compatible with the theta symmetry. And the equation motion for uh, lambda r is fully satisfied if we consider theta is a point. Then the uh, remaining non trivial equation uh, coming from a uh, case of lambda or a case of lambda bar. Then we get uh, such a branch of the Then, like in the previous cosmology, we can choose either this quantity for zero or function f or half of g for zero. Actually, if we choose the first, uh, Run. Then after we get the self absent one. And this function is a, the, the, the same as the previous uh, automotive case. But then if we compute them in uh, so yeah, if we so, uh, under this condition, then what we get is uh, this uh, effective lambda g and lambda a. But uh, this lambda g and lambda a are basically identical to those uh, obtained, obtained in the automotive case. We also get uh, such a polyvial uh, solution <laughs> over for the Lagrange mass prior. And when we import the regularity over all uh, lambda, lambda, lambda r and the lambda bar as I'll go to in, in, uh, infinity. But if we consider the normal one, g and z, then so we can uh, then the uh, we obtain that a non trivial form of lambda and bar, uh, lambda bar. And since uh, lambda bar obey, but also the spatial uh, derivative equation, so we have a total of four integration constants, which is given by Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. But uh, plugging them is also into the matrix equation, for example, equation for these uh, shift vectors, then we get uh, some inconsistent conditions. Because first term depends on R, while second term is constant. Especially this equation uh, is satisfied for some assam Pakatian. This means that the Shiva Kit Logica, but written in the spatial component, are not a solution in the uh, normal branch. But of course, uh, as I said, the existing solution highly depends on the choice of point. Even if there is no solution in the spatial component, there could be solution in other polling systems. Actually, if you consider that uh, the polling is a compound place of k, then uh, we can obtain, uh, yeah, then the uh, social situation maybe can be written like this. Then the address uh, is given by this one. We are evident of the mass of the Then, uh, so the effective constant constant of a social situation is given by uh, this condition. Where C1, now we are going to assume that uh, for simplicity, two metrics are in, in proportionality, then C1 is just a proportionality constant. Well, we know uh, Kappa is basically uh, for space by the correlation. So if we may choose uh, algebraic value because of uh, Kappa. Then this way, then this kind of metric is a clear, then uh, it's clear to the a solution of our theory. If we see one satisfy this one. In such a way, so if we could, uh, in the uh, uh, one point, there's no solution, but uh, there is still uh, some solution in other, for other slides. So far, we have just considered the graph. The next question that what has to be considered the uh, matter field. Now we are going to uh, so now we are mostly focused uh, 
uh, and then mostly you know, with the stream, the space that is uh, about 40. Then only the last um, six different uh, non non trivial functions are. Then if uh, they must uh, do couple with the Lagrange mass prior, so the motion for the step outside the branch are uh, the same as the previous part in the case. Then uh, with this metric answers, then uh, basically both uh, each metric passes by the commercial Einstein with a uh, the point of uh, matter with uh, the uh, 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 of course, uh, so graph in plus is a very uh, complicated problem because we need to analyze uh, partially uh, the, uh, the effects of this. But here, we consider that uh, simple uh, set of Consider from yeah, and uh, uh, then uh, outside it, they make a like, uh, vacuum space time. And now we would assume the asymptotically uh, vacuum space time. So, effective lambda would be in the big class. So, lambda is going to be in other big class. Then, we are going to consider the collapse of the interior leads throughout the quadrant. After for simplicity, uh, we consider the particular space time class, right? But then we assume also uh, asymptotic part points. Then the other exterior system, we get a special solution with a wide value of RG and R. Then uh, also, in this case, the B is the constant, then uh, uh, lambda and also G is the trivial. Then uh, so then we consider interior interior minimum. So we assume that the interior region are given by how do you know that the uh, injection conditions are correct? Basically, if we, yeah, so long range match, you know, we're going to consider the case where the long, yeah, so long range match bias are continuous. Yeah, so uh, across the matter sample. Then the junction functions are basically uh, the remain the same as uh, GR1. But of course, if you consider non trivial uh, lambda, uh, lambda, uh, but also if there's a jump over uh, lambda and the lambda above, mm -hmm. uh, then uh, of course the jump jump is going to be more But we don't we don't consider such a case. We just consider the, the simplest case. Then uh, other interior is considered the interior matter in given by the Basically, and the other thing. No, no, but uh, the idea is and imposing the continuity of the T component the matrix, then we see the is a big T and the and B uh constant. Then if we consider the freedom equation in the theory, then we get the following uh the uh this freedom equation to each F sector, the D sector, and the uh F sector. But then the data solution for the factor is given by the factor. We have then still some freedom to get this uh, 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 interior component. It's basically the final time when uh, the graph is going to end. But here, yeah, so basically, uh, now we're going to take the risk between uh, these two freedom equations. Then, but since the B component, so 
in, by taking this ratio, then the is you know uh, some uh, time uh, time dependent cost. But the use of full B to uh, B full cost, then we have to do uh, work, uh, uh, so we, we have to have the same uh, different same uh, to the form. But uh, in this case, the case of parameter B still uh, can be uh, determined by the ratio. There's a matter in the dimension to do uh, in the two dimensions. So uh, parameter B still can take some uh, arbitrary value. So as I mentioned, then uh, so in here, in this case, the method are smoothly formed at the modern context, namely, the first and the other method are continuous across the matter interface. I don't understand why TF0 is equal to T0. Okay, so this is the people, of course, because uh, in the exterior space time, uh, exterior space time is uh, super cheap, but the uh, exterior just the constant. Now we are going to match. Uh, in this position at the uh, at the interface, but uh, then uh, by dividing the continuity over uh, two metrics, the at the surface, then uh, we see that also putting the area of the interior can be other uh, value, but uh, at the surface side, but still matching the time that the that constant, it would be just uh, just a uh, uh, homogeneous function in the interior. But uh, this outside beach constant, so in the interior, this also has the same But in this model, this, this model is the uh, real um, reality because uh, in this model, it's like flux start from uh, the infinite, from uh, infinite radius because uh, shell going to the speed of the matter is going to zero, and I'll go to infinity. So to get uh, so more real, so we need to consider. Spatial exploration. Spatial And now we are going to the exterior position. We consider the spatial growth exploration of the separate spatial. Separate spatial. Where 2G and 2H describe which measure the constant coverage of the three. And of course, it is 2G equals zero, 2H equals zero, then it will go back to the previous. But then they uh, also we require the uh, positivity inside the square. Then basically uh R one because of uh positivity inside the square, R one is bounded by so in this model, so basically uh plus start from this value with the zero zero, then uh plus start from finite distance, then going to a point. This is just a case of a simple uh, Oppenheimer scenario. Then this is where we're going to realize the two copies of uh, uh, Oppenheimer scenario. Now again, we import the uh, asymptotic platform, so then we import the same type of uh, uh, condition. But then, first we compute this uh, uh, metric, two metric partner into the equation of a uh, Lagrange multiplier. But the equation for Lagrange multiplier tells us actually two special power parameters. 2G and 2H has to be identical. I think this is a very strong condition. Then, uh, because of this condition, then two geometries are different, uh, severely constrained. Then, if we consider the interior region, the interior region is given by the spatial exposed green one, but uh, it can be now given by the uh, Pascal metric. But then, again, we uh, initially do this two scale factor A and A. But if we solve the equation for the Lagrange mass fire, then we get the uh, uh, two scale factor factor has to be identical. So this way, uh, in, in the interior region, the, then the collapsing region also has to be fine-tuned. Then to be, uh, then we we have uh, two uh, equation uh, equation with this vector and this vector. However, you know, for them to be the first, then we need to import with on this, uh, this we see the half to be one. Also, to matter this is uh, all, all uh, fine tuned. Then, if it has the continuity for method as in other matter interface, then uh, after some literal data, 
what is exactly uh, the two gravity theories and how they um, gravity values in the sector and gravity values in the sector out in the space. So parameter B, uh, in the spatial clock case, then parameter B usually can be, uh, can be any value, any value, which depends on the Lugian wave. So now B have to be one, and the two matter densities have to be the same. Okay, anyway, so we just uh, have to find the information first in matter, the initial information, the final moment in flux, then it's a bit uh, so the yeah, the severe. Of course, there's some uh, caveat. Then, since uh, there's no buffer shape in our theory, because the uh, mass term of uh, mass term for uh, the international term, this is uh, after the the relative degree. Because of that, so the maybe other the the yes, uh, may not be uh, you need so you need to exceed us. Point that we can consider. Just uh, some caveat. And I'll ask you this for how, how long? Five, five minutes. Five. Yeah, five minutes. Okay. okay, so yeah, now I'm going to consider the yeah, both by the uh, graph of part of it. Okay, so yeah, so far, yeah, so in the we have a lot of gravity theory, so uh, basically, uh, part of it is about how the state has made the space that can be decomposed into both parity and the even parity sector. In the from each metal sector, then uh of the formation of solar is contain a three uh value. You know, it's so it's in H R and so H C R and E C are the part of the formation of G sector. Where E A D, you know, the antecedent tensor or the sphere and why you know the sector how also we uh, make a similar decomposition over uh over the other uh yeah, then on the background, we assume the Shibashi position, which I have already explained. Also, need, also we need to consider perturbation of a uh, uh, Lagrange mass prior. Basically, there are totally five uh, perturbation in Lagrange mass prior, but one belongs the old by sector and four belong the even by sector. So here is a large number which denotes the perturbation of a Lagrange mass prior. Now, in your case, we have a collision with the gauge data. In the old part sector, there's one metric, uh, one gauge data. Then, by using this, we can eliminate at least, uh, yeah, uh, we can eliminate one uh, metric population among the six metric population. Then, we introduce such a gauge environment uh, population in the those values. Then, the remaining mode is three. Can be regarded as a pure gauge mode, so we can say A3 goes there without any loss of a Then, also, violation of a Lagrange mass prior is automatically gauge invariant. Then, uh, we are going to substitute uh, background and violation underneath the uh, action, then expand the action up to the second. Then, to identify the master value, if we introduce new value by by K and the right action in such a way. Of course, if you value uh, this action, which is detected by K, then 
computing the solution, then it's going to work. So basically, it's the theory. Uh, paper. Now we are going to square that. So, an equation for by C by H R by C by uh, uh, by the R and the auxiliary bios in their uh, E O M. Then, basically, there's no limit uh, to C or H R in their uh, E O M. Then, we can determine E and B like. So basically, we can solve the equation for by C by H R and so on. Uh, algebra. Then what we can determine by each um, by k, then we can reconstruct it for uh metric properties. So this way, by h and by k, free the rules of the master value. But now also uh our another uh gauge gauge by population, but the three and the large uh lambda population lambda plus five. And the problem then is that we have from the body is the same to lambda as well. So what we get exactly is such a the basic uh, equation. So for top of the two diagram, there are two basic modes which obey following the following a special equation. Of course, so to solve them, we need to specify the value. For example, lambda can be so specified in the way. Then you are the two that can be determined by choosing a suitable boundary. But the equation of K3 are sourced by another variable. Yeah. In general, it's, uh, it, it can't be integrated uh, independent. And uh, since uh, there's a uh, always formation B minus one, so then we can classify the behavior of our relation depending on the value. For example, if we consider B one, then the two more by each and by k are completely decoupled. And uh, both of them are sourced by a uh, large uh, lambda, lambda, uh, lambda, 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 then we have to find the by a and put the black box for question one more. We also depend on the value. And if we choose uh, other branch, uh, as I could see from community, then the system becomes much more complicated. Now, two two more start to copy the other without the by the time shown in by this two Then uh, so also uh, there's a special move K3. So as I mentioned, K3. Now they also start to uh, appear as a post-part. So, in order to the full system, we need to solve all these four uh, equations. So, two times more couple solved by the two stations. So far, we found parameter B, some kind of free parameter. If we just push the vacuum region, so there's no way to determine B. But, uh, but we are going to yeah, in the reality system, for example, we want to uh, get a uh, reactive center. Then, uh, so around the graph, there's some uh, battery. Then we need to uh, match the vacuum solution with the solution in the matter. Then, through the matching, the bit can be uh, determined. For example, in the previous example, the vacuum space and heat is just given the relation to uh, matter, uh, matter density. So once we can measure this parameter B with the future graph gravitational wave observation, then we can understand the matter information in other sectors. So far, uh, then we have also so the uh, elbow one parameter. In case of uh, GR, then the uh, elbow one parameter just a slow rotation limit of GR. But in general, this is not true in our theory. Even if one assumes the slow rotation limit of a hard interaction, with an angular G in one sector, but the uh, social in other sector basically depends on both the uh, angular momentum in two sectors, basically, social momentum. And finally, now we are currently investigating the even by the part of it. But uh, since we have a more, not, more, more variable, so the system becomes a little bit messy. But uh, we hope to now record our sound questions. Anyway, so this is summary. So then uh, the future, we are going to create, we have to invest in the graph.
サのまま、まあ、みたいな、これをフォームインでっていう、ハウスペース、カラー、セオリー、ユーザー、フューチャー、オーザベーション、フューチャー、インライト、フューチャー、グラフ、グラフ、ゲッター、ボーゾー、モストパー、モストパートマイト、アイノフォーカス、セーフ、アクセス、アクセス、アクセス、アクセス、アクセス、アクセス、アクセス、アクセス、アクセス、アクセス、アクセス、アクセス、アクセス、アクセス、アクセス、アクセス、アクセス、アクセス、アクセス、アクセス、アクセス、アクセス、アクセス、アクセス、アクセス、アクセス、アクセス、Yeah, only、so、that, that means、um, a gravitational wave detector, and then has to also detect a scalar. Oh,、uh, maybe, maybe. Oh,、uh, yeah. But the、uh, subject solution, we don't, so far we can find only if you tune the effect in lambda model. But once we include the effect lambda, non zero value of lambda, then we can find such a thing. So, at the if you need to such a solution, highly. They depend on,、uh, on the choice of size. I have two questions. One that is very much related to the next one.、Um, so I, I was under the impression that the theory you were considering this、uh, M、uh, minimal theory is very large. But there, there, there is no scale that you make here. No. It's a little already、uh, able. So, so in this situation, I consider spherical symmetric to collapse.、Mm -hmm. I would not expect actually to see any gravitational radiation. So, so、uh, would, oh, but of course, we have. Yeah, but of course, we have. Yeah, of course, the equation of motion for the tensor of the vacuum is multiplied. Yes, but the system is spherical simply. Oh, also, yeah. How you can get. Oh, we have. We just put the spherical symmetry that does the shape of it. I'm okay with that. Oh, just saying that in that case, I don't. I mean, I think it's fine, probably, to assume that the theory has to be the one that you consider.、Mm -hmm. um, I think that's the first question. The, the second question is also related to the spherical symmetric collapse. So I understand that to find these solutions, I mean, they have to go through a series of assumptions, the slices,、uh, <laughs> the interior described by、uh, the system.、Um, And also, the match of the mission is also composed of constraints that are yeah, yeah. Be、um, so, yeah. So, after you go through all that, you get the solution that basically tells you that the G metric and the F metric have to be the same. That's it, yeah.、Uh, so, is it possible to study you know, perturbations of that very, very particular solution? Oh, yeah, well, yeah. Of course, yeah. Of course, yeah. Now we are trying to formulate the yeah, part, yeah, part of the theory. Well, of course, we also have the math. We can do the part of it. Yeah. Yeah. It would be more At least、uh, we can already. Of course, yeah, we need some, yeah, yeah, inhibit analysis by taking into account the math of contribution. But、uh, we, we have already for formulated completely in the. But,、uh, but adding matter is also not so,、uh, not so,、uh, not, not so、uh, hard. So I think now we can, what we can do the matter. Then I think we can also have a study. Then we can, I hope that we can see some variation from this fine tune. In general, perturbation may. Yes, very similar to the previous. Uh, I so far I'm just ho hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping <laughs> to see、yeah. deviation、uh, at least at some level part of it. Unfortunately, but that's only this. Any other、uh, question? Yeah, please.、Um, so, the question is I already asked about this gravitational range, but I wonder if there are also、uh, observational effects、uh, on the cosmology side. So, would one observe a different expansion of the universe in this theory? Yeah, since,、uh, anyway, it's scalar mode, vector mode already removed. Then, big, we, we, what, what we can see just the、uh, so big, the, the, just to see the modification of the tensor population equation, for example, the, then the how gravity mass affects the propagation of the gravitational wave, for example. 
then yeah, all other fields related to scalar were put on density perturbation would be the same as zero. Yeah, only the way to distinguish to theory is just, just only to yeah, observe the uh, graphs of wave such. Other question? <laughs> I am uh, flabbergasted with the amount of work that you did in two papers. Uh, but which is a general relativity in uh, 100 years, it seems that you did the uh, degravity theory in one year or two. So, same amount. But uh, of work, but um, you didn't do anything about the gravitational wave, right? Well, so far, we are yeah, currently just uh, formulating the yeah, black hole particles. Yeah, black hole particles. Okay. Yeah, so, so, right. so far, we are just uh, analyzing uh, particle perturbation. Now, yeah, then we are currently investigating the yeah, even body perturbation. Yeah. So far, we just consider one single black hole uh, perturbation about that. Of course, uh, now, yeah, from now, we are going to consider with a bi binary system. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, of course, you know, now we have a total of 25 barbarian Yeah, I understand that. Yeah. Anyway, we are going to now definitely do it step by step. To make sure that you are not wrong is very complicated. Sorry? To make sure that you don't get okay. calculations wrong is very complicated. Yeah. It's so many variables. Yeah, thank you. Hey, we have time for one last question. I have a super dumb. I always have, I always have this confusion about uh binary theory. Um so what, how am I supposed to think of like the physical interpretation of each of the two methods? Like 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 objects in principle, do they follow geodesics? And if so, of which method? Yeah, for the mathematical Okay. So, so what does F do? It's a field. Just, so I just think of it as a as a some field. Kind of yeah. It's a field, it's a particular field. So um, and what does it what does the geo what does the geometry of F mean physically? Um, it's the geometry of F physically. Yeah. 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 He sets up and then they are happy to be there. Of course, uh, other more there are these many brands that are In that case, actually, uh, several people in the paper reported that those really good in the art I mean, really important art uh, So maybe we can start with yeah, then we can divide uh, the other. Well, if that is then only getting major credit, extra is a little bit of that. Right, 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 the metric, you have the other field. And so the geodesics, the, the particles or whatever, the geodesics follow, not geodesics. But actually, just a lot, just a lot. Follow, follow, follow the geodesics of G with the, the force of the other as well. So you consider like electromagnetic force yeah. of the other. See what I mean. Is that correct? Yeah. So it's like you, you, you so it's like field theory, but one of the two fields aren't vanished. Right. Right. Very good. Maybe we end in that high note. So let's thank Masato again. Yeah. Thank you very much. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe.